Hello, welcome to Appliance Master. I'm Bill, and with me this week is Kari, and one of our newest trainees, Patrick. Hello. Hey, again. Um, so we just wanted to bring Patrick in today to, you know, introduce him to our viewers and, you know, talk about some of the things that made him so successful as an appliance repair technician with our company. You know, he just started recently. Um, and Patrick, he started in September, but mm -hmm. what's remarkable about Patrick is that he's, he's really three months full-time and he's doing exceptionally well mm -hmm. and why he's doing exceptionally well is because he brings energy mm -hmm. he brings like a, a attitude to like a team player he um, always asks questions he asks for help mm -hmm. he uh, has a uh, confidence when he walks through a customer's mm -hmm. home he knows what he can do he knows what he can't do and uh, it's all the job yep he tells the people what it is this is what it is and mm -hmm. and he and he's doing uh, extremely well. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I think another thing too is that he really you know, went in 100% and trusted our training process and mm -hmm. yep. the guidance that we can offer for any kind of new prospective technician. I guess like with Appliance Master, when we hire new people, trainees, we make an assessment of what their capabilities mm -hmm. are, what their needs are, and we can start them off in an area where they can be successful. And then they start in that area, and then now you have the entire rest of your career to like grow. You can go in different directions, learn different equipment. Um, and uh, yeah, so three months in, three and a half months in, he's doing great. A lot of the success, I would say, comes from the tech support and other technicians too, just establishing a way, the best way to approach mm -hmm. appliance. Mm -hmm. We have mentors that Patrick works with, so any question at all, he can reach out. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and I guess he's also smart. He plans his <laughs> days a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need a lot of smarts, just a little bit smart. Common sense, right? So how did you initially hear about Appliance Master? I initially heard through my neighbor. I guess my neighbor was a customer of you guys. Yeah. I think we repaired a washing machine of his. And uh, I actually had a birthday party for my son, and he was there, and we were discussing some financial mm -hmm. issues I was having, and he recommended Appliance Master. Cool. He gave me a number, I gave him a call, and here I am. Nice. And then where did you work prior to this? Prior to this, I was at XP Power in High Bridge, New Jersey. So I worked in the stock room of a high voltage power supply building company. So totally not like Appliance Master. You're in a warehouse, you're doing paperwork, you're moving parts yeah. around. Lots of paperwork. <laughs> but that's always one of the things that we try to you know, drill into people. You don't necessarily need to have any prior experience to joining our company because yeah. you know, we offer training. And yeah. it's a you reminded me, one of my other favorite <laughs> trainees uh, worked in like retail. He, mm -hmm. uh, he, he was in a retail yeah. store, he worked for a dry cleaners, and it's like, but his personality, his charisma, his energy, it's like he just, we focus it in the right place and he's mm -hmm. doing great too. I do have a lot of tech, or, uh, knowledge in automotive technician stuff like that, so yeah, it does a, help. Yeah, that's a popular background for a lot of our technicians have come from the automotive industry, so if you have a mechanical background, I think you might be a little bit more successful than others. And people have skills they're not even aware of. I mean, they, they uh, do things around the house, they fix things. I mean, people have yeah. mechanical aptitude and they may not even, it's not even part of their career. Mm -hmm. but, so we can bring that out in you if you have any of that. And then what would you say your favorite part of the job is so far? Um, I would say my favorite part would be the satisfaction of the customers. Once you, you do a good job, the appliance is fixed, especially when you can fix it the same day. Just seeing the expressions on their face, yeah. that's a really big perk for me. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people like to work, like you work independently, you know? Like, I don't know what it was like in the warehouse, but I used to work in a warehouse, and man, there was a manager over your shoulder. Oh yeah. And like, one thing, you know, this pencil isn't sharp enough, or boom, it's like they are on you. And it's like, in this job, you have a lot of freedom. Yeah, you have a lot of freedom, that is a big plus. Oh, and that's also, we uh, Appliance Master has like an incentive-based pay system where you know, if you work smart, you plan your day, you, you know, before you get into trouble, you, uh, you know, you're going to earn more money. Absolutely. Like you said, fixing it the first time. If you knew what you were going through the first time, you could bring an extra part out or an extra tool or something to prepare yourself for that mm -hmm. and uh, get the job done quickly. It benefits everybody. Yes. Did you initially think you were going to be this successful when you first started here? Um, I, I think that I knew that I would be quite successful, maybe not this quickly, but I knew that I would be able to pick up on it pretty quickly and yes. So yeah. See, that's that confidence showing through again. <laughs> And um, we call it, like uh, we talk about continued education. Mm -hmm. uh, later this month, Patrick's going to Florida. We have it's a it was like a five day training school that we have set up for him. That uh, he's going to come back a changed person. I think your head's going to hurt. It's going to be like so much information, but it's going to be great. 
and uh, it's going to give you more service opportunities, more you know ideas on how to make money. When you're in someone's house, you won't be able to, you'll be able to fix more things, and uh, which, which just helps everybody, the customer, you. And uh, in fact, our uh, we're having a recruiting event later this month on the 29th, Wednesday at 2 p.m. You can go to appliancefester.com on our careers tab, and you can read a little bit about it, uh, register, come on down. We're going to, it's going to be at our office. And, uh, Hi, Smasher is a great company to work for, and I think anybody who might be looking for a career change or looking for something a little bit more challenging would yeah. really you know, be successful. And I think people, um, like, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know, so, like, people aren't aware of the possibilities here. Like, I know people say, oh, I want to be a plumber, I want to be an electrician, I want to be a you know, carpenter, and I want to go do HVAC school. It's like, they don't say, like, no one understands, like, well, you know, the, the appliances that we service. I mean, every house has appliances, and they're great. Right. And it's, um, it's as technical, it's more technical than some of those fields. And uh, the possibilities, it's, you know, it, it are endless. I mean, you can keep learning and growing different, um, so that, uh, we can get into HVAC stuff, and the great part is appliance special will support you, pay you, and we'll figure out what's best for you as your mm -hmm. career goes. So you don't have to plunk down money, go to a school, take a chance, see if you like it or not. Right. So mm -hmm. this is a great first step in your career. Yeah. And then, what kind of advice would you give to somebody that's considering, you know, a career with our company? Um, I think the best advice I could give someone is to just make sure you have the drive to succeed. That is a big part of this. Um, being able to, to plan out your day, like Bill said before, is huge. So as long as you can prioritize and be speedy and figure things out quickly, don't pan panic or fold under pressure, that's, I think, is the key to your answer. And um, if you're responsible to work independently? Yep. Yeah. Some people do uh, So technically you kind of are your own boss, so you do have to watch your time and you know, figure all of that out. So you bring those basics and we'll teach you the rest. Yep. Yeah. All right, remember it's uh, appliancefester.com, uh, careers tab. Read a little bit about it, sign up. It's uh, three weeks away, got a little bit of time. Yeah, we can't wait to see you guys there. Hopefully there'll be a good turnout. Well, yeah, we always get at least a few people. But that's all we need, just a few, just a few people. <laughs> well, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share this video. And if you have any questions, you can comment on it or you know, reach out to us directly on our website like Bill said at or give us a call.